Hey guys, how we doing today? Hey, guess what? What are we doing today? We're leaving. leaving. Yeah, we got everything all packed up almost. I got to get the satellite dish and all that down. I got the antenna down already from up on the roof. Um, yeah, that's gone. Uh, she's got the bikes undone. She took all the jacks off already. We've got those laying out to put up. I got the inside done already. We've got uh, the TV put up, the computer put up. All everything done, dishes washed, all that. So uh, we will be uh, leaving here probably within the hour. So we got uh, everything to do here. Gonna miss Yuma, huh? Yuma's been a, uh, where are you guys at? Yeah, Yuma's been a fun place so far, so we've had a lot of fun. But it's time to go and uh, we're gonna put our bikes on the bike in the uh, truck and we're gonna get going here, so. All right, guys, we're packing up. We're just lifting this up now. Go ahead and let's get this done. We got everything packed up. Go around the camper real quick. Got to check the tires. When we got here, they were like five pounds, a little bit too low. Uh, it's supposed to be 50 pounds, 45, but as you drive and it's hot outside, the air expands. So they say don't fill them all the way up, fill them little bit under. Camper looks good. Dion's putting the block back. Got all that done. All hitched up. We got the, uh, this thing's gotta be, that's enough. Turn it back on. Okay. Tighten this up. Here, I'll show you what we're doing here. This is the, uh, keeps it from swaying, but actually what it is is a break in here. So it has brake pads, and then when you turn this, it takes this and smashes this up against this. So it doesn't ride that fat, you know, hard. But it will turn and twist when you, uh, oops. It'll turn and twist as you turn, so it's, it's okay. But it can't be too tight, and it can't be loose at all. So semi-tight. So, huh, you ready? Yeah. Me too. All right, we're, we got a sweat going on. She's a little sweaty. And uh, she's got a long sleeve shirt on. It was cool this morning, but now it's hot. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're leaving here. We're going up to Parker, and then probably up to Craigie Wash, or at least up to Parker to uh, the casino right now. I think we might boondock one night at the casino and then try to find where everybody is the next day because we're not gonna get there until four. It's now 11.15. We'll leave here. It only takes two and a half hours to get there from here. It's just straight up Highway 95. But the problem with that is we have to pee and stop and pee and stop and pee and stop, even though we've already peed 50 times. We got to stop and get something to eat, and we got to stop and do this. So we'll be there in about four hours. So we'll be there be before three o'clock. But yeah, so we're going up to Parker. Uh, why don't you get in the car and let's go? All right, guys. So we are now leaving. Uh, Dion did the poop patrol, so they wouldn't have to clean up Max's poop. He ends up pooping underneath the camper. We get it all usually, but sometimes when we leave, I know we leave something. So these people here were really super nice and we don't want them to have to clean up our dog's poop. So that's what we're doing. We're on our way out the door, and or out the gate, and uh, I'll show you the road in a little bit. All right guys, so we are on the road. Uh, this is the levee road, Dion's behind me. Uh, this is how high we're up. We rode our bikes on this, we showed you. So. I can't, we're gonna, I'm not gonna stop up there, but where all the trees were up there, they went ahead and they're burning the trees. And I thought you might wanna see, this is how they harvest your vegetables. Now over, we showed you the last video, they were harvesting actually broccoli. Well, they just start this and this is actually cauliflower. So you can see them come up. The machine goes that way. Um, they're, they're chopping broccoli, taking everything off, putting them in boxes. The boxes are going up in the middle up there, so they got lines going this way and lines going this way, and then they stack them up in the, in the boxes and take off that way. So they're, they're going this way. Um, 
These people are doing the same thing, so they're going the same direction, and they'll meet in the center someplace. So they, they flag it off. They got these flags. Some of them were red, and I saw the red flag over here yesterday, so I think that's what they're doing. So I just thought you'd want to see where your cauliflower comes from, guys. These people work their asses off. Excuse my language, but they do. They work their asses off, and I don't know if any of you would ever go out there and do this. I think I would. They got rock and roll playing. Why not, huh? All right, guys, we're going to get back in the truck. We got everything looks good. We're going all the way down that road. You can see the fires down there. That is where the citrus was that we were going to go pick, and we should have done it because they just knocked them all down. Uh, the plants had some sort of disease on them. Those are all citrus back in there, and those are good, but the ones by the road were pretty bad, so they had to burn them. And that's the only way to get rid of the, the uh, infection on them. So, all right, wave. Dion's right there. She's probably, oh, there she goes. She's waving at you. All right, guys, the truck looks good. We look good. I got a jet coming, landing over someplace in Yuma. We got to go. Oh, get back in the truck. Get rid of the brake. Let's go. gonna stop here just for a couple seconds. Dion is way back there because she's going really super slow on this road. It is really bumpy. It is so bad and this part that we're gonna go on next up here is worse actually. It's It gets really grainy. But there she is in the rear view mirror. I don't know if you can see her. She's way back there. There's a car back there too. This is the Colorado River. What's left of it when it comes down here into Yuma. Um, so yep. We'll follow the Colorado all the way up and to Parker. Another park area. And it, there's a road here that goes through and follows this out and goes to where the prison park uh, that we were at. And uh, yeah, you can, you can take a path down this way or bikes or whatever. I think it's either bikes or cars, I'm not sure. And then you can go over there and fish if you want or sit by the, the uh, water. Real pretty out here. This is just a big flood zone for the uh, Colorado River back in the day when there was no dams that's just flooded out every year so controlled water is better and now we have better agriculture down here and everything doesn't flood out so so we just got on uh, highway 95 uh, to go north we got 102 miles to Parker should take us a couple hours to get there it's just a straight shot um, so we get to this gas station and they just changed the price of gas and they upped it 10 cents and they had the pumps off to reset them. And there's probably, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. There's been two or three that have left that couldn't get gas. They decided to go someplace else. So now she's over there, way over there. I'm in the parking lot on the other side waiting for her. And this is why it takes us four hours to get someplace that's only two hours. So, just saying. So we're back on the road. This is 95. That way is uh, one of the airports here. Uh, there's several of them here because this is where the military takes off also. So um, we're on the road, guys.
our tax dollars at work, as they say. Dome Valley's out that way. Parker, Arizona, straight ahead. Got the uh, Yuma Improving, or Proving Grounds, rather. So, uh, Chevrolet has one, or GM has one out here. I believe Toyota has one, Ford has one. And I believe also that the, uh, the government has one for tanks. <laughs> they have one for bombs, too. So this whole area out here is like badass. Nothing out here, so they build big racetracks. And uh, they have all these hazardous things for cars to do on the proving grounds. So that's pretty cool. This is what it looks like down here, guys. Going around these mountains from the other side. This up here is someplace we wanted to go to a couple times. We have not been, probably not gonna go this time. Imperial Dam Recreation is where all our YouTube friends go. Uh, for the winter, they're not there now, but this is also um, the Proving Grounds and they have a big museum over there of uh, those buildings. I don't know if you can see the buildings way out there, but that is uh, the Proving Grounds. That is, uh, there's a big, huge lake out there that uh, they fill that all up and then they let it go out into the the, um, the farmland down here so Imperial Lake goes up and down by about five and six feet all the time so whatever the flow is coming out from Parker Dam and the other dams way ahead then that's what they get and it's really nice camping out there from what we what we've seen There's a bunch of them over here now. Regular cars over there, so they're doing testing something. But I don't know if you can see it up there, but way up in the sky up there, there's a white dot, and that white dot is actually, it is a, um, cars past me. It is a radar, and uh, it's tethered down to the ground, and it's way in the heck up there. And it's every time we come down this way, it's there. So they must have to reel it in, fill it up with gas, and put it back up there every day. But yeah, that's a radar for the the base down here. Pretty cool. Up a little hill, so we're probably another thousand feet up than we were down in Yuma. And this is the upper desert, getting uh, closer to uh, oh to. Uh, Side. That's so pretty out there. I love these mountains over here. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to attach the camera back on this thing here, but the problem with that is they overheat so fast sitting in there that I can't even turn them on half the time. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm actually going to do it when I put it back up. Yeah, that's pretty out there, huh? Way out over there, you can see the ones that are real sharp with pinnacles on top and little pokey things. I just, I think that is just so pretty. I know, I'm a sap for neat stuff like this. I always like the desert too, so. Well, back with some rock and roll music and uh, we got probably another 20 miles to Quartzsite and about another 40 miles after that to Parker. This is starting all the BLM land out here. So if you drive out on that road and way in the heck out that way, you can see a sea of RVs out there. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's where most everybody goes out and stays, either here or they will also stay in uh, uh, Yuma, down by us, there's a bunch of places down there, or they'll stay up in uh, Parker, so coming into Quartzsite, BLM on each side, like I said there, and then over here also.
go up over 10 up here and uh, keep going straight. See all this out here. Loving it, McDonald's. Only one out here, only fast food out here. That's all that over there. So this is 10 and we're gonna go up over it and get, stay on 95. We'll be there in a few minutes. I figured that would turn this back on. Uh, we're in Main Street, um, Portside. You can see uh, ATVs here in Arizona are welcome as long as they're licensed and registered and have insurance. You gotta wear a helmet, but you can go down the street in an ATV. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Yeah, if you go down that way, the McDonald's and there's stuff down that way. Um, all this way is nothing, pretty much. The fairgrounds are here. This is where they have the uh, RTR. It's together out here, all the nomadic people. And this is where everybody parties and gathers and people fix up the vans and help other people. And they have conferences. They have all sorts of different things. And I believe it's called RTR. So... Yep, this is quartzite, guys. Not much to it. Lots of old farts around here like me. He's getting some propane, or what's he getting? I thought he was gonna go drive to find some beer. He had a cooler in the back. But yep, here's quartzite. So we are in Parker now, and uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to make a right-hand turn. We're on actually 95, but we're going to turn up here and it's 95 kind of turns. Um, or you can go left and go to the library like I used to do. Now we were in Parker when COVID started and that's why we left Parker because COVID started and we freaked out and ran. And you know, we've been dealing with COVID for the last couple of years now and it's, uh, I guess in the park there's still some people that have COVID right now. So I don't know if we wanna go back up in there, uh, Dion was telling me. But yeah, this is Parker, Arizona. We'll probably go see everybody maybe I'm not sure yet they took the train car away it was right here nope there it is it's the uh, Chamber of Commerce we made a video in front of that train right there if you remember right town of Parker all right so it's gonna say have a Sue make a right and that's what exactly what we're going to do we're gonna turn right here we're gonna go up but we're gonna go up to the uh, running man gas station I think it's called and we're going to get some fuel. So Dion is getting gas right now. We'll be leaving here in just a couple seconds, an hour before we get up to uh, Craigie Wash, and then we gotta find a place. So we gotta hurry up and get up here. It is now three o'clock, almost. So uh, got a couple hours left of sunlight. I'd like to be able to see that, maybe set some cameras out for some time lapse. We'll see what happens. But yeah, we gotta get going. Have a Sioux now. Um, you can see traffic is pretty bad. It's two lanes coming in and out. We're still on 95. <clears throat> we have about uh, 15 more minutes to go before we're um, outside of uh, Have a Sioux. And uh, Craigie Wash is just right, I mean, just right off the road. So I don't know exactly where it's at. I have our GPS marked. It actually says that it's a place. Um, it says it's BLM land, so that's good. So, uh, yep, and then this is, uh, this is where the bridge is. Uh, London Bridge, it's in Havasu. It does not cross anything over here, the Colorado River or anything else. They just made an island out there, and it goes over to the island, and on the island there, I think there's a, oh, there's all sorts of stuff over there. There's a bunch of condos and some shops and stuff like that, restaurants. 
But yep, this is Havasu. And uh, we'll be at our destination probably in about 25, 30 minutes. All right, guys? I'll take the camera out then. Well, we're here. We're in Craigie Wash right now. Uh, we're going down. We're only a half a mile in, but they say you can only camp a mile in. So uh, there's already people camping out here. Um, I don't know if we are allowed to or not. We're dragging this trailer up this wash. It's really pretty back in here. So this is where a couple of our YouTube friends or uh, the whole family ends up coming here all the time. And then uh, her daughter, Dion's daughter, Michaela, uh, her and her boyfriend uh, was down here for, I guess, a whole six, seven months. And then they went off someplace else up to Wisconsin or Michigan or something. So, but this is Craigie Wash, guys. So let's go find a camp spot we can call our own and uh, get everything out and we'll be all right. Craigie Wash, this is where we're at. Terry and Scott's right over there. Aja's over there from uh, Pandemonium and for Destination Open Road. And there's us, Misfits Adventures. Yep, we're at Craigie Wash. Uh, Dion's daughter just called us and said if we're here, how far back did we go? And we went about a mile and a half in. She said to keep on going back. There's better camping back that way. Um, I don't think we're really level right now. So the air conditioner's not going on. So we're gonna have to figure out that, or not the air conditioner, the uh, refrigerator. I think if we drop it down a little bit and run over some uh, pieces of wood, we'll probably align it up a little bit better and everything will look fine. But uh, we're a little bit crooked, I think. What do you think? I think we're up and back, or up and front down and back and I think we're tilted to that side a little bit. We'll look in the back later. All right, we're just gonna uh, take off and go down this road and Yeah, there's a lot of people down here. This is really pretty. up in the canyons. It's about five o'clock now in Arizona time. So we're not doing the California time thing anymore because we're not there, obviously. That's really pretty. Got some schoolies back here and little vans and big fifth wheels. All these people are full-timers like us, having fun.
Good morning, guys. This is two days later after we got here. Uh, we got here, went back riding, came back, set some things up. All day yesterday, nothing but the wind was blowing uh, anywhere from 20 to 50 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah. We have the generator on right now, and uh, we're charging up everything from last night. I'm using the CPAC machine on the batteries. Seems to work until about 6 o'clock in the morning, so it works for at least 6-7 hours. I can accept that, and uh, I got some sleep anyways. And then uh, we went yesterday, or Dion went yesterday, did laundry while it was windy out. I stayed here with Max, and she bought uh, 15 gallons of water in those big, um, I don't know, what do you call them, big containers. And we dumped them in our portable water. And then uh, washed our hands and did what we had to do, and then we looked over, and guess what? It's dumping out the back. So there's a check valve from city water to portable water, and it's something's wrong with it so that's what we're trying to do now fix it right now so i'm going outside it's gonna be a little loud because the generator's in the back but dion's out here so i got wet they started squealing out i know what do you want me to do you want to check okay guys we figured this out so here is the city water we take this off and then we screw a hose on to it there's a valve in there that was stuck and so what happens is when the pump goes on it compresses all the air out inside the tank and it started shooting out here where we put in our portable water. So all 15 gallons of it went on the floor yesterday. Well, after we bought it. And that's not good. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to go back today, or she's going to go, one of us, uh, go into town and get another 15 gallons, fill up those uh, three jugs that we bought. Uh, the jugs, it was $30 for the water. And then um, after you get the water, uh, you could take those jugs and refill them for a dollar fifty. So that's you just have to buy the jugs or ten bucks a piece. So we'll keep these uh, big jugs in case we go boom docking like we're doing now, and we can always use it. I'm going to go back where the uh, noisy generator is. Got the satellite dish out last night to watch the news. Max still doesn't know what's going on. He's like, I don't know what these crazy people are doing. But anyways, up on here in the center up here is all the YouTubers, a lot of our friends that we watch and uh, yeah. So here we are guys, nice blue skies, nice little mountain over there to climb up maybe. Uh, the wind is still here. The wind is still about, I'd say 15 miles an hour at times. Not like yesterday, you couldn't come out here and record yesterday at all. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try to figure out what we're doing today. Like I said, we're probably just going to get water, hang out. I'm charging up the uh, batteries from last night and all the uh, toys, uh, cameras, everything else. So I'm going to get this on charger and we'll see you in a little bit, a minute or two. So now we're in the, the uh, truck stir and we are going off to probably Walmart, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And we got those three jugs. We're going to fill up all three jugs with water again and try this again. Um, like I said before, we spent, she spent on her credit card, $36, mm -hmm. $36 for three things of water. That's with tax in Arizona. And you get to keep the, the containers, which is great. So you take those containers back, obviously everybody knows this but me, and then you fill them up and then it's $1.50. So yeah, so if we go today and fill that tank back up again, I'm sure we have at least three or four gallons in it. So maybe we'll have 20 gallons and the pump will work so we can at least flush toilets. That's all I care about is flushing that <laughs> toilet. Right, Max? Yeah. But we don't want to put too much water in the black water tank because there's nowhere out here to dump. And we got to have to figure that out after we leave and the gray water tank. So we don't want to have too much water. So uh, no showers. Day two. <laughs> Baby wipes. <laughs> Baby wipes she gave me this morning. I went, what was I supposed to do with these? And... But it worked. I smell like a baby now. Baby fresh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Walmart. We're going to finish up and get this stuff. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do this afternoon. Maybe maybe go for a little walk or something. But uh, and check out the area. Um, I'd like to fly the drone. The wind is still up. We'll see. We're going to be here probably for another couple days. So, uh, yeah, I don't know where we're going after this. Still haven't got a call from up north. Uh, put in a phone call and uh, gave them an email. Nothing yet. I've given them three emails. 
So we'll see what happens there, and I hope they're all right. Because who knows, something could happen. Um, but uh, we'll figure that out when the time comes. If not, I think Monday we're going to leave, and I'm not sure where we're going. So, right? Right. All right. You bored? You ready to go? You want to go look out the window? Yeah? Okay. All right, guys. We're fixing to go to Walmart. All right, so we got these bottles, the Primo Water Company bottles. I don't want to hit this guy's door, and I'm going to end up hitting this guy's door. So we're not going to do that. Put them in the cart. Sorry, Mr. Guy, but it's off hard. Two big trucks. Oh, one more. So we're at the machine, put it underneath, you lower it down, you push a button which is here to fill and it fills it up. And then you push the button to stop it. So we got about that much water in it so far. We got all three of these and two more to, got all three of these. Yep. And it's a pretty busy Walmart. We never, we, I, I have never been to this one, have we? You haven't. You haven't, yeah. I think if you're looking for clothes or something one day. Alright, so we're filled. Almost. About three quarters of the way. Alright, so we got our water. It's uh, 29 cents a gallon times uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 gallons. And uh, I think right now what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to do some shopping. I'm going to get some lettuce. They have uh, beautiful papayas. We need some more limes, I think. So, we get some limes today and maybe some tomatoes. All right. <coughs> Lettuce or do you want spinach? Ooh, that's a toss up. Huh? That's a toss up. If we get lettuce, we can use it on tacos and BLTs. Okay, so get that. Well, you can always put spinach on BLTs too, right? What else? Anything? No, I think we're good. Okay, let's go. Check that out. Pretty. Oh, you know what we do need? We need limes. We might we might make some uh whoop, going up high. Going down low. We might make some margaritas tonight, so that would be fun, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Get squishy ones, not hard ones. If they're squishy, get them. No hard ones. All right, guys, we're going to go cash out and everything, and we'll uh, get back in the car. We'll be on the road. Back to the camper. All right, so you can see, we actually are in these canyons right over here. So we're in between those two mountains, kind of back up into the canyon. Right? Yep. Yep. This guy's going to hit us. Come on. He says, either get out of my way or I'm going to run your asses over. <laughs> I don't know what his problem was. I think he's on the phone. Oh, probably thought it was the brake pushed on the gas, scared the heck out of us. All right, so we're going back to the uh, the camper. We're gonna put this water in there and hopefully uh, everything works. And then we can relax all the rest of the day. Yeah. A little windy down here still. All right, we're back. We're gonna get these out and we're gonna get the funnel again. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in here, the water and fill that back up and see if this works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Um, it was $5.50 for 18 gallons after we bought the, the container. So we'll always have the containers. And if we don't want the containers, we can cut them down and we can make planters out of them. Right? Right. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna get the, uh, this out. We're going to get the 
big funnel. Glad that didn't break or did it. No. All right. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I need two hands, and I need her two hands. So obviously we're gonna have to uh, put the camera down. All right. All right. So we went ahead and put in 10 gallons. We turned it on on the inside, and it actually worked. What happened was the city water connection here has this filter. You take out the filter, there's actually a button there, and you have to push the button to vent it out because it doesn't know which direction everything's coming from, I guess. I guess that's the way that works. I have no idea. Uh, but what we did, we put the water in there. That's our portable tank, and it's 30 gallons. We put in 10 gallons. So we should have enough water for tonight, tomorrow. Flush toilet, yeah. wash hands, and that's about it. That's all we really want it for. So we are just going to rest and do nothing today. How's that new tire? We didn't tell you the story about the new tire, I don't think, huh? Well, we went out. Anyways, we went to the car show uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, on the way back, we noticed that the light was on for the tires. So we went ahead and, you know, went someplace to go fill up the tires with air. Well, this is the second time we've had to do it. And I kind of hinted to the guy. I said, oh, go look at the uh, left passenger, you know, rear tire back there and see what you think. And he said, yeah, it's down about 20 pounds. I'm like, oh, great. That's not good at all. No. So he, he put some air in it. And then uh, I said, well, it's got to have a nail in it. It's the second time this has happened or something in it. So he took the tire off free of charge and he looked at the tire couldn't find it and then all of a sudden he found it and what it was it was a big nail like a 16 penny construction nail and it was actually um it's actually wrapped up around it so kind of sideways and there was no way that they could ever fix something like that so we went ahead and just said screw it and we'll have to buy a new tire and they didn't have the right tire the same exact tire so uh i'm like okay well what do we do he said oh there's a discount tire right down the street so the discount tire people we went there and sure enough they had the tire and it was uh, with tax and everything it was 309 dollars and so i said okay go ahead and put it on so they started putting it on and this one kid came over to me and started talking i said man he's really heartbreaking he said why i said because i just put these tires on in september he said oh i said yeah he says well didn't you buy the road hazard I said, yeah, I, I did, but I said, I bought them, at, bought them at Tire Rack. He says, well, Discount Tires owns Tire Rack. So I said, well, then they're covered. He says, yeah. I said, well, great. So I got on my phone. Sure enough, it's on my phone, my bill. I brought it to him. We had $82, was, and they gave us free tire. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do they call it? Service warranty Service or whatever. Warranty, I mean, yeah. if your tire blows out or whatever, they'll fix it or they'll replace it or whatever. So yeah, so they went ahead and they gave us a money back. Yeah. $309. Put yep. it back on the charge card. Got a brand new tire, shook their hand, said thank you very much, and we left. Yeah. So that was a really good day that day because we would have had to spend so much money that we didn't have. And yeah, so $300, we could stay out a little bit longer out here and uh, see this beauty here. And it actually is kind of nice here. You saw the bike ride we did in the beginning of this. So the campster has been doing pretty good. The truckster has been doing good. We've been doing good. Max has been doing good. And we're going to be here for probably until Sunday, right? Yeah. So we're going to, we'll be here until Sunday. We'll leave uh, Sunday morning or maybe even Monday. And uh, not sure where we're going yet. We still haven't uh, found, well, haven't heard from the people that we were trying to get the jobs from. So we might be doing this thing of going back down into California and go to uh, my sister's house and that'll probably be the what we're going to end up doing anyway so all right guys i think we're to call this a quits for this video yeah all right yeah all right so you guys have a great day uh you can always see us every sunday morning at misfits adventures right here on youtube and uh, you can always write us at msfitzsadventures at gmail.com you can see us on facebook you can see them on see us on instagram and you can see us on our website misfitsadventures.com um that said, you can watch all our videos there too because we have links and you can see our pictures and everything else that we do there. So uh, definitely, you guys got to check that out. And then uh, see us on Facebook and Instagram like I've already said. And our website is msfitzadventures.com. Okay?
So come on back and see us, guys. Appreciate you. Love you all. Bye, Be safe. everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you.